Hey guys, Caroline here with 123 Art Designs. I just want to share with you my tutorial of how to mix for fluid art, mix your paint, and uh, my little recipe made with, you're going to need Elmer's glue. It can be the clear or it can be the white kind. If you want to start getting picky about it, I suggest you try both and make your own opinions. Um, I like the white, no big deal. Uh, you can try Floetrol as well or water, but I recommend doing the Floetrol to help thin that out without creating it too watery. So in this tutorial, we're going to do the glue, Floetrol, and, and our paint. I'm just using Basic Artist Loft. I really love golden paints because it's so smooth, but there's there's a myriad of paints out there that you can use. So go ahead, whatever you've got laying around and give it a shot. We're gonna do a double dirty cup pour today or double dirty pour today. And we're gonna do one cup, one three ounce cup for each color we have. So I'm actually only going to do four colors. And then we're gonna need uh, two Two of the bigger cups, I think these are nine ounce, they, these are nine ounce cups. Uh, so just so we can cover a 10 by 20 canvas. And that is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna do a double dirty pour. Sound fun? It's gonna be the most basic. I'm gonna teach you from start to finish how to mix and mix your paint and pour your paint. So let's get started. Okay, I have picked, my general rule is three to five colors. You can do more than that. Uh, less than that's fine, but that's really up to you. You wanna make sure you have contrast. So I'm gonna have my brightest color be white, and then I'm gonna do a gold as well. And then here we go. We've, these are all artist loft, nothing crazy. Oh, I've got a basics here. Um, I do like Liquitex, but I like all my brands right now. I'm not partial to anything except for golden. I love golden. Uh, so good job making paint, you guys. <laughs> Here we go. Four colors, four cups. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna start with Elmer's glue. This is just Elmer's white glue. Nothing special to it, it's school glue. So we're gonna look at this cup. It's a three ounce cup and we don't need to fill it. We're only doing a 10 by 20. If I was doing a 10 by 30, I'd probably fill five of these. Um, but it's okay to just, it's okay to fill it if you're okay with the waste. So I like to paint with extra paint. I think it looks really cool. So we're going to do that. We're going to fill it halfway. So it's going to bring it up to about a second line, second or third line. We're going to do that for each one. And if you have all of the materials at home, you can paint with me. And I will do this for all of my videos for you. So you can fast forward to the parts that you need to see, or you can watch it in its entirety. Okay, so that's our glue. Now I used to add water to the mix, but I don't anymore because I like it just a little bit on the thicker side. So here's our Floetrol. I put it in a little squeeze bottle, but it's nothing special. A big squeeze bottle. Okay, so this is not strained and I think it's getting clogged up. So if you are playing with Floetrol, you get little goobers. So make sure you pull those out of your paint so they're not, they're not in your painting. So 
So we're going to bring that all the way up to the top line with the flow trowel. Then we're going to add our paint. So you make a little ice cream with your paint. I'm going to start with my darkest color and work up to my lightest. No real reason for that, just being a little OCD, I guess. So we're going to make three to four little twisty turns. One, two, three. And so you make a little ice cream. You can always add paint, but you can't take it out. So I'm never afraid of just doing the three and then adding more. <clears throat> I've got a nice turquoise here, artist loft. One, two, three. Gold. This is called old gold. I do like copper as well. I think copper really makes some pieces stand out. I'm probably going to have to add more to my metallic as well. We'll see. <clears throat> And the white. My white itself is getting chunky. This is why I like golden. Golden doesn't do that to you. And no, they didn't pay me to say that. I do really like their paint though. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not painting with it today because I'm... I don't have enough of it to paint with and I don't have the colors with me. I've been inside since March, um, only going out for little things. I haven't even made big orders for craft things. I don't know why, I've just become a recluse. I'm gonna add two drops of black. If I can get it to come out. Nope, I'll grab a different one. Okay, I don't want a lot of black. I just want there to be a nice dark contrast. One, two, two drops. If I need to add more, I'll add more. Okay, popsicle sticks, here we go. One for each color. Look at that, it's like ice cream. Little fudge pops, okay. So when you're mixing it up, I'm sure you've heard other artists say, um, you're like breaking up a yolk, egg yolk. So you might want to smash that against the side of the cup slowly. <clears throat> so you want to make sure your consistency is like a smooth honey. So it's runny, it's smooth, it drizzles, but not drips. So you can just start to see this paint color start to turn to my dark purple. Now, I always find this to be the relaxing part of paint pouring, even though it's not the most exciting. So take your time, make sure you get all the lumps out. If you need to fast forward through this, be my guest. I like my turquoise. The reason you want to make sure your lumps are out is because if they, they will weigh down your paint. They are denser. And when you do your pour and you start to tilt, it will hold down just that part of the paint and run around it. And nobody wants that. I mean, unless you do. Every artist is different. It's your thing. You, you do what you want to do. But I'm just trying to teach you a way to get a nice, good consistency. Now, with metallics, most metallics seem to be a bit thinner. You're gonna, you might have to add more. You can already see that this gold is just not as bright as I need it to be. And it's not going to look exactly like it does in the tube 
because right now it's being toned down by the, the glue and the Floetrol. <clears throat> so let's add some more gold. Yes, I literally just put in another three loop-de-loops. But I don't think I'm going to need any more than that. Now, my worst fear is that I don't get all my gold clumps out. So that's what I need to do is make sure that I break all of this gold up. <clears throat> now, if it doesn't look very extravagant on camera, it doesn't, it does look just not bright and metallic. That's okay. When it dries, it, it will, the metallic will pop back up. It will dry, your, your mitts will dry clear. <clears throat> I want to be done with this, but it's not done. So just give me a few more, few more minutes. I imagine a time lapse here making me paint really fast. my gold is definitely needing a few drips of water. I have a mister right here. <clears throat> that paint definitely got it so thick that it's not the same consistency as the other ones. Much better, yay. Okay, last color, white. Lack of colors, if you wanna talk about, talk about it logically, but that's okay. We don't have to have a color to beat. You're gonna cut all this out, right? <laughs> so I don't sound too stupid just talking to myself. The white, you can actually see change with your eyes, if your eyes are good enough. And most importantly, please make sure you take your time on the white because you really could have some clumps left over. Nice, nice, coming out very nice. Okay, so we are going to paint on our 10 by 20. I'm gonna move these over. <clears throat> so here's what I paint in. I think it's rubber made. Picked it up at Walmart, nothing special. Um, the buckets are Chobani yogurt buckets. If you really need to know what buckets I'm using, uh, you could use anything from a McDonald's cup to, you know, piece of little box. You can put a box inside. You don't even need the cookie sheet. You don't need that. So don't think you need it. Um, but it helps steady everything out. So what I do is. We're gonna spray the back with some water. That's gonna allow it to tighten up the back as it dries. Everyone does that, I think, I don't know. I live in Florida, so I'm sure that will help it to dry, to help tension that up. Okay, cups and gloves. I glove up for pouring because I get messy and then I'm able to take them off when I'm done and um, then with fresh clean hands touch the painting up if I have to go back in with it so then I don't have to wipe off all the paint on my apron right away oh I get messy though Okay, two cups to pour into. I 
And then I'll show you. I'm gonna layer these from darkest to lightest. Actually, I'm gonna do one dark to light and one light to dark. Let's see what happens. So when you do a dirty pour, you can put in silicone, but I'm not gonna add silicone to this one. Oh, I just saw a big clump go in. I got it. <laughs> I sound like my, my toddler. I got it. <sighs> I'm sorry. My commentary must be so annoying. Okay, there's about half in there. Now I'm going to pour this directly in the center. That allows cells to start to form as it's, it's not mixing. But they do kind of swirl around together as you add your layers. So if you want to use all that paint, go for it. Other things you can do with your leftover paint is use it for the outside of your pore and you can use that to break the surface tension. We'll go into that as we start to pour those, no worries. Okay, one other thing you can do if you really want is you put the popsicle stick in and you can just swipe down the center. If you really want to get crazy, make an X. Bring it straight up, make an X. I'm not going to do that with these pores. I think these colors are great the way they are and I think they're going to create something beautiful. So let's find out. I'm not going to pour them at the same time or should I? Uh, I usually do one, two, three, but this is a smaller canvas. So let's pour at the same time. It, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you, your personal. If this is too stressful to pour two at a time, don't do it. Just do one at a time. It's, it doesn't matter. It's not worth your anxiety over. Last thing I'm going to do. So make sure it's level. Okay, I'm happy with that. I got some paint on the canvas. Don't freak out, it's gonna get covered. It's okay. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Fun. I've already got some cells popping up. I'm just going to let this continue to grow. I'm going to get these colors to meet. So I always try to remind people the paint is not in a rush. It will, it's slowly expanding. I'm okay with that. Pour 
but before I do any crazy tilts with this, I just, I want it to expand and I want it to, to get comfortable before I even touch it. So I'm going to break the surface tension here with my finger. So it's like popping a bubble. And you're just basically getting the rest of the uh, <clears throat> canvas wet. So relaxing. Okay, it looks awful right now. Don't even worry about it. You're about to spread this all the way across the canvas. It's still stretching, if you can see it. It's still expanding. <clears throat> Boy, I really love the colors of these cells right here. I am sure there's more waiting for us under this. Let's pop some air bubbles with our torch. So I still have yet to tilt this. Oh, got a kitty fur right there. <clears throat> okay, let's tilt. I'm going to bring that paint back over. Oh, I see a, a big gap right there. So I do have a piece of paint that's driving me crazy right here. I usually use tweezers for that. Okay. I'm going to use whatever paint I have left for these edges. And then we're going to walk the paint left and right. There is plenty of paint on this canvas. It's actually, it's still expanding. I can see it with my eyes. It's starting to go over the edges on its own now. So I'm using my hand as a corner and just kind of catching some of the paint. Dripping everywhere. It's great. I love it. Okay, I'm just using my hand to basically walk the paint across the edge.
so there you have it we did a double dirty pour i did inverse colors lightest dark darkest to light in each cup simultaneously poured if that's too much again not a big deal just do one at a time take your time with it and have fun uh, let me know what other kind of tutorials you want to see in the comments also i'm so new to this please be kind i love you all i want to be able to help you guys paint whatever you want for free in this uh, tutorial that uh, series that i'm doing and let's just have some paint and have some fun thank you guys don't forget like share subscribe the thing you, you guys the thing you guys do help me out okay love you all